Wales here. Hey there, Chris Wales here. So excited to be doing a new tutorial here at Lightworks. You know what's happening by now, Chris. Here we are again. The shower threatening your laptop. I am running Lightworks. All you need to do is make some cool titles for the video. Your destiny hinges upon your capacity to ascend beyond your trepidations. The clock is relentless. The water is relentless. And your future rests upon your courage to conquer your dread. So for today's tutorial, we're starting just outside of Lightworks to talk about adding in your own custom fonts. And that could be from websites such as dafont.com or Google Fonts. Uh, personally, I always recommend Google Fonts in the first instance because nine times out of 10, the licenses are free for all kinds of uses. While on something like Defont, they might be free for personal use, but obviously if you're using it for commercial purposes, you know, just be careful because you don't want to be breaching anybody's copyright and obviously also taking advantage of someone's hard work. So anyway, let's say you've chosen a font that you like and you've gone and you've downloaded your font. Here's one I downloaded earlier. And let's just open it up. And then you'll see here, you'll have a TTF file normally, which is just your font file. Obviously this is just for Windows. And what we're gonna do is you just right click and there's a button here that says install, click install and it will install. Obviously this is just for Windows. Any other operating system will have their own process for installing fonts. I just wanted to show you at least one method for the operating system I'm on. So after you've installed the font, if you want to be super careful, restart your computer, but you should be okay. But make sure that whatever software you want to use that font in was closed and then reopen it. And obviously we're now going to reopen Lightworks. And we're now going to put on a nice little funky spooky title at the start of our video. So all we've got to do is go along to the effects and you'll see we have the title effect um, saved by default in your favorites. But if not, it's under text. And you'll see here we have titles. So let's just add in the old default title and drag it on. And you'll see it's automatically created a brand new effects track, which will allow it to sit kind of as a separate layer. So making sure the playhead is over the effect that we want to change. We can go up here and we see we've got the title effect up here. So let's just change this to Happy Halloween. Okay, and now if we go down here, you'll see there are lots of options that we can have a play with. So obviously the first thing we should worry about is the typeface or the font. So let's go here and let's go down to the font that we have just installed, which is that one. Look, you're very spooky. There we go. Right, so now if we just adjust the size up, we can make it as big or as small as we like. Let's, let's make it nice and big at this point. So we have appearance, so we can add on a little vertical gradient here. So let's go for, I don't know, let's just have a quick go. Let's go for spooky red. And as you can see, the gradient has already started appearing. And I don't know, what's another Halloween color? Green? That looks Christmassy. There we go, yellow. We'll, we'll go a bit closer to it. There we go. So we've got a nice little, more, more interesting kind of uh, title here. So... Now, if we just go and we just have a look, 
Oh, that's, uh, that's quite short. So let's just using the same trimming techniques that we know we can just drag and make it go on for as long as we like. And let's have a look. That seems quite nice. So now, obviously, it just appears and then disappears. And then you've got the footage. So let's go back putting the playhead back on here let's go back and let's have a look at some of the other options we've got here these are just changing our positions if we want it to not be central by default it will sit in the center which for a main title is basically what you want really um you can change whether you want a shadow which is actually really helpful let's say if you want this because it's a separate layer it can go over the footage there we go happy halloween how nice in fact yeah, I quite like that. You know what? Let's leave that on there. So we've got black and then we've got happy Halloween. And then the real key thing that we can look at now is the in effect and the out effects, which is basically your transition for how the title is going to appear or disappear in your video. So we have a couple of bits here. Let's let's do a typewriter, I think. Frames per character. Let's have a look how that works. Oh, yeah, look, it's typed out and then boom. OK, I quite like that quite like you know boom spooky okay obviously now that it sits over some footage it kind of looks a bit you know poor quality just disappearing like that so i'm going to go now to my favorite effect for a title in a video like this just a just a blur okay so let's play that look at that it's like it's like it's disappearing like it's been blown away in the wind there we go great so now if we go back and play oh yeah that, that's that's quite long now so let's just adjust the clip as well i'm going to make sure that track sync is on and i can just drag the entire timeline to make sure the timing's all nice for me so we start on black music happy halloween you know what for this uh, image here i think can't just have a appear there let's let's just add a cheeky little oh let's add a let's add a dissolve transition in oh look at that it disappeared it's like the image comes up and then that text disappears spooky and there we go just a nice little easy way to add in your own little custom font to kind of add your own identity in to make your title exactly how you want it to look for fun exciting videos you know so let's just give that one more play yeah there we go very nice and what is this oh my goodness no that's the guy that that's jigsaw he's the one that oh no
thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all of this silly stuff I've made. And I hope you had a really good Halloween. And in the meantime, I've been Chris Wells. Keep making videos. Thank you.